Hi guys, it's me back again with a low quality vid because <coughs> I am finding myself frustrated with how hard I am fighting to literally stay alive right now and how hard I've been fighting all semester and really since I came to college in the fall of 2014 when my health took a turn and if you would be so kind as to keep watching this video I think you would garner a greater sense of empathy towards individ or at least sympathy towards people with chronic illnesses because so much of what we do is done behind closed doors and I think everyone who is chronically ill deserves to have their fight noticed and appreciated and there is a difference between feeling sorry for someone and kind of respecting someone and believing them and honoring their struggles just to get that out there so most if not all of you guys know that I have something called cystic fibrosis and to get just a quick better idea of that was interesting English of what cystic fibrosis is it is a genetic mutation in just one chromosome of mine and my mom was a carrier of this defective gene and is and my dad is a carrier of this defective gene and when I was made I took my dad's defective gene my mom's defective gene and I have cystic fibrosis my parents do not they have no symptoms And my younger sister is either a carrier of the gene <coughs> or she got both of their good genes. We don't know because the only way to know that is to get genetic testing. And she <coughs> and my parents have not made the decision to do that yet. Now, this mutation makes it so that salt moves in and out of my body incorrectly and inefficiently. Because of this inability to move salt throughout my cells, I get a buildup of salt, which makes the mucus that lines all of my organs thicker, saltier and thicker. And you have mucus lining all of your organs too. But it is of normal saltiness. So you don't have any problems. <coughs> my mucus is especially, well it's thick everywhere. But it's especially thick in my pancreas, my sinuses, and most of all my lungs. <laughs> And this is why CF is kind of known as a lung disease, when it's really not. It's an entire body disease. I get chronic sinus infections from all of the mucus, and I get headaches all the time from them. <coughs> chronic headaches. Because my pancreas is blocked with mucus, the digestive enzymes that my pancreas releases aren't able to actually get released. Or get out of my pancreas so when I eat I have to take little capsules full of pancreatic enzymes so that I can actually digest my food and get the nutrients from it and hopefully keep weight on 
So gaining weight is a big part of CF. That's why most of us with CF are kind of scrawny. The biggest part for me and for most people with cystic fibrosis is our lungs. They have the most mucus, and that mucus is in our lungs, acting like a spider web. And it catches <coughs> all these germs that would normally just pass through your lungs because you don't have a spider web. So I get sick all the time. In addition to that, the mucus itself is a problem because it literally clogs my lungs. It makes it so that an airway that's supposed to be this big is like a straw because it's full of mucus. Right now, I'm fighting an infection. A lung infection, which means that I caught a bug in my spider web and it's making everything a lot worse because my body is so weak, so weak, and fighting these infections seems impossible and feels impossible. So that's why I'm breathing so hard is because the infection is giving me even more mucus in my lungs and it literally feels like 24 seven that I'm breathing through like a coffee straw, like a coffee stirrer. <clears throat> Which is why making this video of just talking is so hard. I'm coughing all the time because that's the body's normal response to the lungs and the airways being clogged. Just trying to get it out. This coughing gives me almost no back muscles and super strong chest muscles and abdominal muscles giving me a huge hunch, giving me back pain, making my chest and stomach muscles feel as if I just finished a 50 hour long workout all the time. My whole body hurts all the time. When I have an infection, I get weird white blood cell count numbers, which is normal when people are sick. And I think that we think, me and my doctor, think that these white blood cell counts are what make my joints hurt and my bones hurt so much when I'm sick. My knees, my hips, and my hands hurt so bad when I'm sick that I can't sometimes I can't take the lid off my toothpaste I feel like an old man it, it really does hurt really bad and the only thing that makes it better is a hot bath just sitting in hot water but taking a hot bath makes steam and the steam makes it so hard to breathe and it's already so hard to breathe. If I'm laying down, my heart rate doesn't get much lower than 116, which is higher than most people want their heart to be beating, or faster than most people want their heart to be beating when they're exercising really hard. So that should kind of give you a better understanding of what it's like to be sick with, C with cystic fibrosis. It's like... Ro working out or running all the time. And so when I'm saying I'm tired, that's what I mean. You have to imagine if you were just running all the time. I have fevers, so I'm always cold. I'm really underweight. And no matter how much I try to eat, I still lose weight. And I know, you know, when you first hear that, you're like, oh, that's such a cool problem to have. And I thought the same thing before I got really sick when I came to college, you know, when my CF was more moderate. I was like, oh, I love getting sick because I can eat 
however much I want and I lose weight. And I like the way I look. But in the last six months, I've lost 20 pounds. And I cannot gain it back. And I feel so small and weak and like sickly and ugly. Even though I know I'm not. And people tell me they notice. And that's really hard for me. Because I feel powerless. That's a big thing. Being chronically ill is you feel powerless, you know? Because you try so hard to make your body work half as well as your friend's bodies work. And it just fails. Having cystic fibrosis means doing hours of treatments a day that, like, hurt my body to do and exhaust it. And they still don't make it easier to breathe. But if I gave up on them, I would surely get worse. And having cystic fibrosis is trying so hard to eat your Thanksgiving dinner and taking an appetite stimulant before it and then coughing so much right after that you throw it all up and it's throwing up more the next day from coughing and every time you're able to eat something it just throw it up Having cystic fibrosis is not brushing your teeth in four freaking days because the bathroom is too far. <sighs> Having CF is being out of breath from talking or from scrolling on Instagram. Having CF is being so smart and passionate and capable of getting an amazing education at an amazing school and struggling with whether or not you should drop out every single day because your professors don't want you in their class because you're never there. Just wondering if you're wasting your parents' money from still going to college. And it's wondering if you're ever going to use your degree if you do get it. Because science says that there's a really good chance you could die in like a few years. Or one. Or less than a year. And cystic fibrosis is watching your best friend make these videos and then literally holding her hand as she dies of the same disease that you have less than a year later when she was 18 and 16 because it happened twice and then finding yourself making the same videos and wondering does this mean I'm gonna die too? It's depression and anxiety and getting an emotional support animal to help you feel better about your short lifespan and then not being able to take care of that dog all the time <coughs> because of your disease. And it scars and hospitalizations and weird foreign objects in your body and it's just wanting to play in your drumming show that's in a week and weighing that drumming show 
with the days that could be stolen from your lifespan if you don't go to the hospital, like right now. It's not knowing what to do, and it's not wanting to make videos like this because you want people to think that you got it, <coughs> to think that you're strong. <coughs> so desperately wanting people to know what you're fighting so that they appreciate their own lives more <coughs> so this Thanksgiving even though it's over I hope that you appreciate your body and your health and your ability to wake up and do anything because no all of us have it but I sure as hell appreciate my body because it's still going. And so many people have life harder. And so many people don't have life at all anymore. So even though I cry and complain, I am grateful and I'm happy. So, I don't know, I don't know how to end this. Rest in peace, Harambe.